Hello and welcome to Maths and Maths. We're going to look at how bar models can help us explain arithmetic terms adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. And also when you get to multiplying we might look at some factors and multiples. But let's start with addition. So adding two terms, 250 plus 90. See how does this bar model help us represent that? We might still want to do column addition to uh, add these two numbers or maybe use a number line. I do like number lines, but one thing I like to do is get to a big round number to help us. So I'm actually going to add another bar there. And I know that if I'm adding something to 250, I want to get to maybe 300. I'm going to break that 90 into 50 and 40. Some people call this chunking. I'm going to break that into chunks. So I've still got the 250 and I, I don't know how to add 90 necessarily in my head, but I can add 50 and 50. That's going to get me 300. And then from 300, I can add the 40. So I'm happy to get 340. And I can compare it to column addition, 0 and 0, 5 and 9 is a 4. Carry that 1, I get 340. So I know that that answer is 340. I know that's correct. But I like to use this idea of chunking to a big round number, 300 in this case. Break that number down. And you could use a number line as well for that. Okay, so that's a nice bar model representation of addition. Let's look at subtraction now. I've got 270 minus 110. So that might not be the most straightforward subtraction. Again, you might want to compare this to how you do it in a column subtraction. We'll look at that in a second. I'm going to do the same thing I did with addition. I'm going to break that down into chunks. That 110, well, I know it's a nice 100, and a little bit over of 110. I could have used a more complicated number here, but I think to explain the concepts of what I'm doing, it's easier with, with these numbers. So now I've got 110. So something plus that 100 and that 10 will give me 270. So 270 take away 100, I know it's going to be 170. Take away that other 10, it's going to be 160. So I know that that there is my answer, 160. And I could compare that to column subtraction, 7 minus 1 is 6, 2 minus 1, and I get 160. And then I've got my nice bar model representation of that subtraction to see how these two parts add up to that one. Okay, now let's have a look at how bar models work for multiplication. I've got 80 times 50, and I've drawn here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 little blocks. Okay, you might want to use grid paper or actual blocks to make it exactly equal, but say my drawing was neater. Each of those is going to be 50. So I've got 8 50s, and I know every 2 is going to be 100. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I get a nice 400. Again, I could use a more complicated number here, but to explain the concept of how that bar model represents uh, that multiplication, these numbers are simpler. And then compare with maybe some column multiplication. 0 times 8 is 0, 8 times 5 is 40, and I get 400. You might also know your times tables. Uh, 8 times 5 is 40, but it's 10 times bigger than that. So you can compare with your other methods. But the bar model representation is a neat way of visually seeing that. Let's look at the fourth operation, uh, division. And we've got 48 divided by 6. So I've got the big bar here being 48. and broken up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts. So if I don't know straight away, imagine maybe I think it's 10. Well, I'd, it can't be 10 because 10 times 6 is 60. And it can't be uh, 5, because there'll be 10, 20, 30. So it's somewhere between the two of them. And you could go through each of them. I could go through 7. Oh, I'd get 42. And it's 8. Okay, because if I've tried 5 and 10, and I'm going to try one from either side, it's going to be 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 50. And we knew... Uh, where's the 40 times 50 there? Okay, so then if you know your times tables, um, you should be able to get that. Or you might want to do, compare that to 
Some people call this the bust up method. Um, but even there, six doesn't go into uh, four. So I still have to divide 48 by six. I still have to do the same thing. Um, but if you go through your times tables, six, uh, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, uh, 42, 48. Still get to eight being the number of uh, sixes I need, or conversely, dividing 48 by eight, I'm going to get six. So you can see here that the bar model is a nice representation of dividing 48 into six parts, and each part is worth eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there we go. There's a bar model representation of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. As you can see, with multiplication and division, we're looking at factors. So the factors of 400, 8 and 50, the factors of 48, 8 and 6, the multiples of 6, the multiples of 8, uh, and the multiples of 8 there again. So lots of maths uh, that we can talk about there in bar models. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and look at the other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.